Okay, Gen 2 Can-Am guys, I know most of you are pretty pissed off. You, Anything like me, you've probably put more diffs in your bike than spark plugs, which isn't cool. So, you know, a lot of you guys probably running big power mods, tires, clutches, all that kind of stuff, but you think, well, why the hell can't my 83 horsepower stock bike make a diff last? Most of you guys probably heard lots of stories about incorrect heat treating and you know this and that and the other thing but I thought I'd make a video called the anatomy of the G2 diff failure and I thought I'd show it in the progression of how it looks as it progresses so let's uh, move along here to diff number one peel the top off here okay so shim there no big deal Sounds kind of noisy. Couple shims in there. Not really interested in those right now. Crown gear looks pretty good. Not really even a mark on it. Get rid of the pinion here. And I hope the camera can show this. Well, geez, look at that. There's a pretty little wear pattern. This was a rebuilt diff out of a 2011 Outlander. It's actually the upgraded Commander diff, though. See some pretty nice little wear patterns. This differential only had 250 miles on it. So that's pretty neat, eh? 250 miles and wearing already. So, we'll move on to diff number two. Okay, so diff number two again. Crown gear. Looking pretty good. Not really too many marks on her. Let's take a look at that pinion though. She's in pretty tough shape. Busted tooth. Halfway down. Lots of pitting. And there's that pretty little wear pattern again. You see where it's nice and shiny. Oh, crack there. Gonna lose half that too soon. A couple of big pits there on the top. Oh, look at that. Major pitting. Hmm, neat, huh? Okay. Diff number three. This is a real beauty. <laughs> Sounds like crap. Open her up. Shim. Shim. Oh <laughs> no, look at this. Missing half her teeth. There's some pretty good pitting and scoring and wear on that crown gear. Pull this baby out. Hmm. We're missing all the tops of the teeth here. Halfway down. So, there's a pretty little wear pattern again. So what the hell causes this? That's the question, eh? Well, where's, oh, there's a good shot. Not too fair. Nice and shined up. Worn pretty thin. So, what is it? that causes these diffs to fail. Now, most of you guys probably don't give a shit. You just want to get on your bike and ride it and you don't want your differential to blow up every two or three hundred miles and be changing it three times a season. That's BS. So, for guys that do care, let's have a look at what happens here. So, this pinion gear starts off life as a brand new happy shiny gear 
and shortly into its service life it starts to wear. You can see that neat little pattern there, how it's wearing prematurely. You move on down the road a couple hundred miles, see the wear has gotten worse. And then actually some teeth break, some teeth pit, teeth chip, some teeth crack. Now that gear is starting to get pretty thin, that's why it's breaking up top. Now we move on to this guy. Now he's completely toast. Most of those gears broke off first. And then as it got loose inside the diff, started smashing out the ring gear teeth. It's at this point that most of these diffs will blow in half. Now this customer, customer of mine got pretty damn lucky. I think I can reuse this case for his commander. So you can say that this is improper heat treatment. Say a lot of things, but I'll tell you what. When it's even worn this bad, there's still heat treatment left on those gears. We're not down to the cast metal yet. We're still in the heat treated stuff. It's not until they start pitting like that that they get out of the heat treated material. So basically what I found through hours and hours and hours of studying this is that there's a defect built right into these differentials. My rebuilds eliminate that defect and that pretty little pattern that starts to wear and has a nice shiny tooth doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't break off teeth anymore and won't split cases anymore. So you can follow me on Mud and Wheels on Facebook and YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hell, I even want the haters to comment and subscribe. <laughs>